Knock. Hi, Mrs. Smith. My name is Barb. How are you today? I'm your nursing assistant, and I'm going to help you wash up between your legs, and we're going to clean your catheter up really good. First thing I'm going to do is wash my hands and gather all my supplies, which I have on the table. You need four washcloths, a basin with comfortably warm water, soap, a towel for a barrier, at least two to three pair of gloves, a waterproof pad with a towel and a bath blanket. And now I'm going to come around, I'm going to check the brakes on the bed, pull my privacy curtain. Good, if you're breaking on, Mrs. Smith, we're going to pull this curtain all the way around the bed. So the camera can see, I'm going to push it back. And I'm raising these side rails because I'm going to raise the height of the bed for proper body mechanics. Here we go, Mrs. Smith, I'm going to raise your bed. Did you sleep well last night? I'm glad to hear that. Let's move the call light out of the way a little bit. Okay. I'm going to bring my hamper, my trash basket closer. The first thing I'm going to do is put on my first pair of gloves. You let me know if you're cold, Mrs. Smith, but I have a nice bath blanket for you here we'll be putting on shortly. Oh, my rails came down. <clears throat> Which I need down. <laughs> okay, Mrs. Smith, before we put this pad underneath you, I'm going to move your drainage bag up, releasing the sheet clamp. I'm going to put this down between your legs. And if you remember, we're not to raise the drainage bag above the level of the bladder, but for short-term purposes, it's okay to have it here. We're going to leave the catheter in um, the leg clamp here so that we're not prone to pull the catheter out as we turn Mrs. Smith. So Mrs. Smith, if you look at me, please, and cross your arms, we're going to turn you over and get this waterproof pad underneath you. This is going to keep your sheets clean. So hand on hip and shoulder, one, two, three. You doing okay, Mrs. Smith? Can you breathe okay? There we go. Bend your knee a little bit. Okay. I've also included a towel in the waterproof pad. I've folded it lengthwise, which goes towards the foot of the bed. And this will allow me to have a towel handy when I need it. Okay, just a little lump and a bump there, Mrs. Smith. And we'll pull the pad through for you. Okay, how are you feeling there? Okay, at this point if I felt like the waterproof pad was soiled or I had contaminated my gloves, I would change them, but for now we're good to go. Before I start washing, I'm going to actually release the, cat release the catheter from the leg strap. I'm also going to place a waterproof blanket on top of Mrs. Smith, which is required for the state test which while we're putting this on her as a lithotomy drape, I'd like to point out that for the state test, peri care is not included with catheter care. But in real life, you would do catheter care along with peri care as part of her morning care or most of the time when you're taking care of your residents in that fashion. So we're gonna pull the sheet to the bottom of the bed. Fan fold a little bit. Okay, Mrs. Smith, can you bend your knees? I'll give you a hand here. I know you have some arthritis. We'll try and be real gentle. Okay, to do our lithotomy drape, our bath blanket is in a diamond. We're taking our far point. We're bringing it underneath her leg, over on top of her foot, and we're going to anchor it underneath her foot. Careful not to have her step on her drainage bag. And we'll do the same thing with this side. Bring the bath blanket, the side of it, around her leg, over her foot and under so that it's anchored very well. How you doing, Mrs. Smith? Are you comfortable? Oh, good. And now we have easy access to the peri area. <clears throat> so now I'm going to soap up two washcloths. I'm going to soap the corners of the first one as well as the four areas in the middle. This is going to wash around the urinary meatus as well as peri care. The next soapy washcloth is going to be for the tube itself. Okay, Mrs. Smith, you're going to feel me touching you here. 
going to wash around the catheter and we'll try and be gentle. So with my index finger and my thumb, I'm separating the labia. And with my ring finger <clears throat> and middle finger, I'm holding the catheter so that we're not tugging on it. With my first soft corner, I'm going to start at the far side. There you go, Mrs. Smith, if you could hold your leg for me. Start at the far side, and in one direction, I washed around the urinary meatus where the catheter goes in. I'm getting a second corner because she has a lot of exudate. I'm doing the same thing. And I think we'll do it a third time just to make sure she's really clean. There we go. Now with the middle areas of the washcloth, I'm going to do peri care. The labia is still separated, so I'm going from top to bottom and the inside labia, flipping my washcloth inside top to bottom. Third area, outside labia, top to bottom. And fourth area, top to bottom, putting my washcloth in the hamper. Before I rinse, I'm taking my second soapy washcloth. I'm going to hold the catheter right at the insertion point so it doesn't come out, getting the middle soapy area, and I'm going to come down at least a good four inches, rubbing back and forth, turning my washcloth, and I'm going to do the same thing until I feel like the catheter is good and clean. Into the hamper, and now I have my rinse cloth, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take the soft corner, we go around the meatus, and then my next corner, we're going around the meatus. And we're going to rinse for pericare, top to bottom, four times, inner and outer labia. Okay, my last cloth, I'm going to rinse the catheter, making sure I anchor it at the meatus. This is one of the critical elements for this skill. The other one is making sure I go in the direction of from clean to dirty or top to bottom. Okay, Mrs. Smith, we're going to dry you now. I'll be real gentle. So I'm going to pat dry from top to bottom, changing to a different part with each stroke that I do. There, do you feel nice and dry, Mrs. Smith? Good. I would also like to point out that um, <clears throat> most of the time we'd also turn our resident over in, oh yes, let's also dry the catheter. Good, yeah, okay. I'd also like to point out that most of the time we would also turn Mrs. Smith over and clean her backside as we do for pericare, but that is not a part of this skill. Okay, Mrs. Smith, let's get your legs straight here. Okay, before I change your pad, I'm going to remove my gloves, decontaminate my hands, and put on a fresh pair of gloves. Before I remove the pad, I want to put the catheter back in to the leg strap to anchor it so that we're not pulling it as we turn her. Doing okay, Mrs. Smith? You've been so patient. Okay. So each leg strap is a little bit different, but they're pretty easy to figure out. Most of them are of a Velcro fashion. You want to make sure there's some slack there, and we anchor it right close to the Y part of the catheter. I'm going to Undo the bath blanket here so we can remove it easily. Okay, Mrs. Smith, if you can look at me and cross your arms once again. Okay. A count of three. Let's bend that knee. One, two, three. Let's keep you covered. Tuck this under very good. And you can come back towards me. Okay, I'm removing the towel and the waterproof pad, putting that in my hamper. Oh, let's get you all untangled here, Mrs. Smith. Being real careful to not pull on the drainage bag or your catheter. Okay, at this point, if I felt like my gloves were contaminated, I would change them again. We're going to pull up the sheet and remove the bath blanket. Mrs. Smith already has her call light attached where she can reach it. And I'm going to lower the bed with the knuckle on my hand, with my gloved hand. You doing okay, Mrs. Smith? Do you need anything before I go as I'm cleaning up? No crosswords today? You're going to take a nap? Oh, that sounds good. You've had a busy morning. Okay, she's got her call light. The bed is lowered. I'm going to come lower the rails, push back the curtain. Hopefully it will be 
nice and quiet for you, Mrs. Smith, so you can take a, a good nap this afternoon. Okay. I would dump this water into the commode in real life. But for the purposes of this skill, I'm going to put it in the sink. I would rinse my basin, disinfect it according to the policy of the facility, dry it out, remove one glove so that I can open the bedside stand, hold the basin with my glove in. Before I take off my glove, I'm going to put the towel back into the hamper, remove my glove, wash my hands, and the skill is complete.